Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and what I want to do in this video is teach you how to prepare a, a monthly money management report. So there, I don't know, there's two or three or four reports that we use here at Redefine Horizons to kind of keep a handle on how our business is doing financially, you know, what the financial health of the business is. That's really important for a small business like ours. You know, we don't have a huge cash flow cushion and so it helps keep, uh, you know, it keeps me and, and my partner honest, uh, make sure that we're staying on top of our billing and that we're not, you know, spending more money than we have. Uh, we, we don't want to get in a position where we're pinched for cash. And so uh, we have a monthly report that we do that I'm going to show you guys. We're going we're gonna to put it together for last month. And you can see that we, we could do some, uh, there's some room for improvement based on the report for June. <laughs> Um, so I want to just talk a little bit about that. Uh, so we're going to be brutally honest with ourselves here. And, um, then if, then if I have time, I want to do a, another video, I'll show you guys how we put together our, uh, quarterly profit and loss statement. Um, so anyways, I want to uh, go ahead and get into this, uh, report. So this is, a. We could do better about uh, this, preparing this report, but with our goal is to prepare it monthly and then go over it once a month uh, with, with the team, you know, with the senior members of the team. And so it's a it's a really simple report, and essentially it's it, it, it mirrors somewhat the bank balance. It's just letting you know, like, you know, well, how much money do you have on hand? Do you, got, do, you, do you got enough money coming in to cover expenses, basically? So uh, let's go ahead and update this. I, I've, I've got the top part current here, but we're going to start down here with assets. So... Uh, we always start with a current checking account balance, um, and I, I pulled some information here from our bank account. I've just got it up in Notepad. So our beginning bank account balance was just about thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, and then uh, invoices, professional service. So we want to know what did we invoice. So this isn't this isn't money that came in. This is uh this is money that was invoiced. And I'm actually gonna add a row here. So we're gonna move this stuff down. And uh, cause we'd like to know what do we actually get in deposits. So we're gonna say payments received, completed work. So we're going to add that as a row. We want to know that. All right, so this is a problem for the month of June. Uh, we did not uh, invoice for any work. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. We did not receive payments for any work. Uh, so that's not good. That's not a good sign. Um, we did have a little bit of a slow, slow spot in June, a little bit of a soft spot in early June, and uh, we billed a couple big jobs uh, at the end of May. And so, you know, your cash flow doesn't always even out. Sometimes things lump up a little bit, uh, but you want to try and avoid that. You want to you want to try and do your invoice regularly so that you don't have months. Uh, you know, you don't want a month like this, uh, like we had in June, where where nothing was invoiced. Um, or, I mean, sorry, that you didn't receive payments for any work. Now, we did um, we did start the month with a nice, nice balance. Uh, for us, this is a pretty nice balance because we're a small firm. Um and that's partly because we had some big bills paid in May. But, yeah, you know, uh, it would have been nice if we'd have got some money in June, and we didn't. So that's just something to keep an eye on. Um, so uh, the other important thing is uh, what did you invoice? If you didn't get paid anything and you didn't invoice anything in June, then we're in trouble. Uh, but I know that we invoiced some, invoiced some work in June. So we're going to go. I'm going to pause the video real quick, and I'm going to go uh, real quick figure out what we invoiced in June, and we'll add that. All right, guys, so we did invoice a little bit. Uh, it wasn't a huge amount. Uh, but we did, we invoiced $5,800 in June. Okay, but we didn't get paid for any work because we had that big chunk come in at May. All right, so like, now you got to be careful with this total assets because uh, just because you, you bill something doesn't mean that, uh, that you're going to get paid. But I just, I know that this is good money. Um, we're we're going to get paid. Actually, you know what? There's $800 of that we're not sure if we're going to get paid for. So what I'm going to do to come up with the total assets here is I'm going to add what's in our bank account to what I think is good money. So we're just we're not 100% sure we're going to get that 800 bucks um, just because it's a new client. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to count that. I'm going to take 35, 
thousand, and we're going to add the five that we know is good money. Okay, so our total assets for the month is going to be forty thousand five three three point three three. Okay, so this is this is what we think we're worth roughly at the end of June. Okay, then we come down here. We've got our regular expenses and. Um, so this is going to change next month because we added a couple CAD licenses, but for now it's fine. Uh, this is uh, this is basically good. Uh, we got a couple things we're going to add here. So we are going to add our IT consultant. And we had about five hundred dollars this month. That just depends on what we've got him doing. And then uh, we want to make sure we include our benefit costs. So that's our health insurance, retirement, that kind of stuff. And then we're going to add our payroll costs here as well. And you can see, if you start running out of room here, you, you can condense categories. So uh, this data tree can actually roll up here to software as a service. We don't need to break that out. So we'll roll that up. And now I can get rid of this. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to say consultant services. Okay, so we know we've got about eleven hundred dollars in consultant services for June. Okay, and that'll save us another couple rows here. Okay, so that's my wife looking for the dog, sorry. Alright, so let's go ahead and add these dollar values. And uh, we're getting, we've added a couple team members, so this, these numbers are going up, <laughs> which is okay. That's good. We're getting busy. So we've got about a uh, little over three grand in benefit costs. And uh, let's see, we had about $23,000 in payroll last month. And that includes our taxes. All right, so then we want to add all that up, see where we're at. So we got 350 plus 600 plus 1100 plus 3252.78 plus 23348.03. So we've got $28,000 in expenses. Okay, now. If you're doing a good job of your, let me just teach you guys this. If you're doing a good job of your billing and your cash flow, um, this number and your payments number will be equal. And so you can see June was not a great cash flow management month for us, right? So we didn't get any payments, uh, but we spent $28,000. And that happens sometimes because, uh, you know, the, the payments aren't always smooth. Uh, but you want to try and avoid this. So Landon needs to do a better job next month. Um, and you know, we let our, we let our, uh, cash flow get a little lumpy and that's not good. All right. And then we, we did have a couple oddball, uh, expenses for the month and that's usually true. We usually have some stuff that's just not regular. So we had a little catch up on our state taxes. Um, some of our estimated taxes was a little under, so we owed those guys a couple hundred bucks. And then uh, we had some employee reimbursables. Okay, so we had about, let's see, we had 405.95 for that. And okay, so that was our oddball expenses. So let's total those. Okay, 
So we had six six hundred and ten bucks roughly. Okay, so our total expenses, we're gonna add our regular expenses and our oddball. Okay, so we had twenty eight six fifty oh one in regular expenses plus we had uh, 610 in oddball expenses, which brought our total to 29, 260.91. Okay, and again, you want this number and this number to be equal, and they're not. So our cash flow is super lumpy here. Uh, not good. <laughs> so and we'll work on that. We'll get better. Okay, but we're, we're still in the black. Because we had a good good month in May, we, we got paid on some, some big bills at the uh, excuse me some big bills at the end of May. So to, to calculate whether we're in the black or the red, we're going to take the total assets here, and we're going to subtract the uh, total expenditures. Okay, so we've got uh, oop, we've got uh, eleven thousand dollars. We're eleven thousand dollars in the in the black. Okay, which is good, and uh, this this number is getting bigger every month. Uh, you know, we just we're new business. We started in February, so every month this number is getting a little better, which means we're building some cushion there, which is good. Um, we like that, and um, so what this does. So this this isn't the tool we use to manage cash flow. We actually have a spreadsheet that we do use to manage cash flow. But what this is kind of given given our executive management team is a high level view of you know, money that's coming in and going out of the checking account, right? Our primary checking account. And so, you know, we're doing okay here. We're in the black. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to have to pitch in any of my personal savings to to make payroll in July. And I know we got a we got a, a big bill, a $12,000 bill coming in July, and, and we just signed a couple uh, new contracts. So July is going to look considerably better. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have a way bigger number here. Uh, we're probably going to have a $40,000 number here for July, so that'll be good. You know, and this gives you a rough idea, you know, all right, you know, takes 30 grand a month to run this place with the number of people I've got on here currently. So, okay, so that that's our monthly management report that I need to do a better job of preparing. Um, and, you know, your, your company probably has something sim similar, and if they're using software like DataTree, this is probably automatically generated. I, I personally like getting into the bank account and looking at the numbers a little bit. Uh, but that's a tool you can use, uh, you know, just to kind of keep an eye on your bank account and, and see what the financial health of your business is. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, oh, sorry about that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we'll do uh, we'll do some more. I'm going to do, uh, do another uh, video just to kind of show you a quarterly profit and loss statement. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.